Okay, welcome back. Now it's question number seven from the uh, M1 June 2015 International A-Level paper. <coughs> Here we have a question about vectors. So the particle P moves from point A to point B with constant acceleration. Okay, key, key word, constant acceleration. That means we could apply SUVAT. CI plus T plus DJ meters per second squared. So the acceleration is, I like to always use vectors as column vectors to make life a bit simpler. So that's acceleration C, CI plus DJ meters per second squared, where C and D are positive constants. The velocity of P at A, okay, you've got point A, is th minus 3I minus 3J meters per second, and the velocity of B, P at B, okay, is 2I plus 9j meters per second. The magnitude of the acceleration p is 2.6 meters per second squared. Okay, so the magnitude of the acceleration is 2.6. Okay, and okay, so we could say that the initial velocity and the final velocity are the velocities at a and b. So the initial velocity would be minus 3i and minus 3j, and the final velocity would be 2i and 9j. Okay, so how can I relate these together? Well, I know that acceleration, if I use the SUVA equations, I know that V is equal to U plus AT. And I know that A is equal to V minus U divided by T. So basically the acceleration is, T is going to be like a scalar quantity. So one over T would be some sort of a scalar quantity. So uh, the acceleration is going to equal something times v minus u. Okay, so it will be some something times v minus u. All right. So let's find what v minus u is. So v minus u is going to be two nine minus minus three minus three, which is going to be five and twelve. Okay. So I know that the uh, acceleration is going to be something times 512, be some constant times 512, whoops, 512, okay. So it's going to have the same direction as the vector 512, but it will have a magnitude of 2.6. So what we could do is, we could say, okay, let's find the, um, Let's find the unit vector of 512, okay? So the unit vector of 512 would be basically the magnitude of, so let's say V minus U, let's find its magnitude. Its magnitude is going to be 5 squared plus 12 squared square rooted, which is going to be, that's 25 plus 1, 4 plus 169 square root of 169 is 13. Okay, that's what a 5, 512. 13 triangle. So 13 will be the magnitude of the vector, okay, um, that is in the same direction that we need. So if we want to find a vector which is going in the same direction as 512 but has a magnitude of 2.6, what we could do is we could find one unit in this direction. One unit in this direction, okay, would be so like you could say V minus U, you could say the unit vector of V minus U is going to be. 1 over 13 times 5, 12. That will be a vector of one unit, okay, that is in the direction that we need, okay, because we know our acceleration is in this direction, but it needs the magnitude of 2.6. So all we need to do now is to take our vector, V minus, the, 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 uh, the unit vector in that direction, and all we need to do is multiply that by the magnitude that we need. So the vector A is going to be 2.6 multiplied by 1 over 13, 512. Okay, that's now, this is a unit vector in the direction we need, and this is the magnitude that we need. So when I multiply the unit vector by the magnitude we need, we'll get a vector of the correct magnitude, 2.6, in this the right direction. Okay, so A is going to therefore be 2.6 times 1 over 13. 2.6 times 1 over 13. 2.6 divided by 13 gives you, whoops, 2.6 divided by 13 gives you 1 fifth. 
So this is one fifth. Okay, one fifth times five twelve. Oops, always be careful not to write that as a fraction. One fifth five twelve. Okay, so one fifth times five is one, and one fifth times twelve is twelve divided by five. Twelve divided by five is equal to two point four. That's right. So it's one two point four. Okay, so just writing it in the form that we were, were given. So that's the acceleration is going to be i one i plus two point four j. So I think c was the i component. Yes, yeah, c i plus d j. So c is equal to one, and d is equal to two point four. Okay, I hope that was clear for you all. That we know that because acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over time, we know our vector is going to be some multiple of v minus u. v minus u gives you 512. So we want to find a vector which has the same direction as 512, but a, with a magnitude of 2.6. So we find one unit in the direction of 512, which is found by dividing this vector by its magnitude, which obviously will give you a, a vector of unit of one unit, okay, um, in that direction, and multiplying that by 2.6 will give you a vector of 2.6 units, magnitude of 2.6 units in that same direction, which is what we need. We know that vector A, the, the acceleration, has a magnitude of 2.6 and it has its direction as v minus u and that's what gives us our answer. I hope that was clear for you all. Thank you for watching.